Sahih al Bukhari 536, 537 narrated al Bukhari. The Prophet said, In very hot weather, delay the Zur prayer till it becomes a bit cooler because the severity of heat is from the raging of the hellfire. The hellfire of hell complained to its Lord, saying, O Lord, my parts are eating, destroying one another. So Allah allowed it to take two breaths, one in the winter and the other in the summer. The breath in the summer is at the time when you feel the severest heat and the breath in the winter is at the time when you feel the severest cold. Sahih al-Bihari 538 narrated Abu Asayat that Allah's Messenger said, Pray Zuhr prayer when it becomes a bit cooler as the severity of heat is from the raging of the hellfire. Sahih al-Bihari 539 narrated Abu Dar al-Ghafar we were with the Prophet, on a journey and the mule din, called Maker for the Prayer, wanted to pronounce the Aden, call, for the Zur Prayer. The Prophet, said, let it become cooler. He again, after a while, wanted to pronounce the Aden, but the Prophet, said to him, let it become cooler till we see the shadows of Helix. The Prophet, added, the severity of heat is from the raging of the hellfire, and in very hot weather pray, Zur, when it becomes cooler. Sahih al-Bihari 540 narrated Anas bin Malik, Allah's Messenger, came out as the sun declined at midday and offered the Zur prayer. He then stood on the pulpit and spoke about the hour, day of judgment, and said that in it there would be tremendous things. He then said, whoever likes to ask me about anything he can do so and I shall reply as long as I am at this place of mine. Most of the people wept and the Prophet said repeatedly, ask me. Abdullah bin Hudhafa as Sami stood up and said, Who is my father? The Prophet said, Your father is Hudhafa. The Prophet repeatedly said, Ask me. Then Umar knelt before him and said, We are pleased with Allah as our Lord, Islam as our religion, and Muhammad as our Prophet. The Prophet then became quiet and said, Paradise and hellfire were displayed in front of me on this wall just now and I have never seen a better thing than the former and the worst thing than the latter. Sahih al-Bihari 541 narrated Abu al-Main Hale, Abu Barsa said, The Prophet used to offer the Fajr prayer when one could recognize the person sitting by him after the prayer and he used to recite between 60 to 100 ayat verses of the Quran. He used to offer the Zur prayer as soon as the sun declined at noon and the Asr at a time when a man might go and return from the farthest place in Medina and find the sun still hot. The sub-narrator forgot what was said about the Marib. He did not mind delaying the Isha prayer to one-third of the night or the middle of the night. Sahih al-Bihari 542 narrated Anas bin Malik, when we offered the Zur prayers behind Allah's Messenger, we used to prostrate on our clothes to protect ourselves from the heat. Sahih al-Bihari 543 narrated Ibn Abbas, the Prophet, prayed eight rakats for the Zur and Asr, and seven for the Marib, Anisha prayers in Medina. Ayyub said, perhaps those were rainy nights. Anas said, maybe. Sahih al-Bihari 544 narrated Asha, Allah's Messenger, used to offer the Asr prayer when the sunshine had not disappeared from my chamber. Sahih al-Bihari 545 narrated Asha, Allah's Messenger, used to offer the Asr prayers at a time when the sunshine was still inside my chamber and no shadow had yet appeared in it. Sahih al-Bihari 546 narrated Asha, the Prophet, used to pray the Asr prayers at a time when the sunshine was still inside my chamber and no shadow had yet appeared in it. Sahih al-Bihari 547 narrated Sayyar bin Salam, I along with my father went to Abu Barza al-Islami and my father asked him, how Allah's Messenger used to offer the five compulsory congregational prayers? Abu Barsa said, The Prophet used to pray the Zur prayer which you people call the first one at midday when the sun had just declined the Asr prayer at a time when after the prayer, a man could go to the house at the farthest place in Medina and arrive while the sun was still hot. I forgot about the Marib prayer. The Prophet loved to delay the Isha which you call Alitama and he disliked sleeping before it and speaking after it. After the Fajr prayer he used to leave when a man could recognize the one sitting beside him and he used to recite between 60 to 100 ayat in the Fajr prayer. Sahih al-Bihari 548 narrated Anas bin Malik, we used to pray the Asr prayer and after that if someone happened to go to the tribe of Bani Amr bin Af, he would find them still praying the Asr prayer. 
Sahih al-Bihari 549 narrated Abu Bakr bin Uthman bin Sal bin Hanaf, that he heard Abu Mama saying, We prayed the Zur prayer with Umar bin Abdul Aziz, and then went to Anas bin Malik and found him offering the Asr prayer. I asked him, O oh uncle, which prayer have you offered? He said the Asr and this is the time of the prayer of Allah's Apostle which we used to pray with him. Sahih al-Bihari 550 narrated Anas bin Malik. Allah's Messenger used to offer the Asr prayer at a time when the sun was still hot and high and if a person went to Al single quote Awali, a place of Medina, he would reach there when the sun was still high. Some of Al single quote Awali of Medina were about 4 miles or so from the town. 